Hi everybody, good morning. This is a walkthrough uh, room of the this day by Triacme. Network device hardening is a bit easy room, but has a lot of good information you can uh, um, learn in pre so I think it's about, this is about network, OSM models and firewall, how to enhance your firewall security and network. Uh, network devices, endpoint devices, endpoint devices of course like laptop, smartphone, anything that uses internet. Network devices is the one that manages the internet itself, log, firewall, router, uh, switches, things like that. The threat of course for this type of things, common attack, vector, network device, unauthorized access of course, password, things like that, RCE, social engineer, denial of this, DOS attack. Flooding device with fake requests within anything that relates to network things. Man in middle attack, ARP spoofing, DNS, RAG access point. All this is network information. Or someone did the CCNA or CompTIA will know about this. Privilege of curation, what we always do network. Weak password, exploit, exploiting vulnerabilities, misconfiguration. Uh, bandwidth theft, yeah, some stealing. DOS malware attack, all these things. The device that is used to control and manage network resources is called it's a network device. Uh, no, it's a, yeah, it's a network device. This is the one that usually do the the management of the device. Not we call what feature. It's a network device that manage things. Now, what threat vector that include disruption of critical devices and safe to make them unavailable to genius user? This is usually is a denial of this denial of service. It's a DOS attack. Denial of service. Now let's go continue down the road. So now here we talk about uh, common hardening technique. Of course, updating and patching. Most people forget updating router. Uh, uh, disable. Uh, this is also very important. If you don't need FTP, just remove it. If you uh, don't need email, just remove it. List pr privilege. Of course, give user what exactly they they need. No more, no less. Of course, have a lowest log system. Backup without uh, go without saying. So enforce strong password. Also, this is key. And of course, nowadays is always have this multi-factor authentication. Everybody knows secure password, remove block, and secure protocol. For course, uh, the FTP, the normal HTTP, Ethernet, this all this uh, should not be used or disable them. In fact, not just disable, delete them. Implementing monitoring logging control. Of course, we have syslog protocol to centralize transfer log messages, SNMP trap notification to send network, NetFlow packet capture, all of that. Uh, suppose you are configuring the router, which of the following could be considered insecure? Insecure, of course, FTP is the one who is insecure. You know, HTTPS secure, SSH, RP, so this one is insecure. The protocol for sending long message to centralized server for storage you can see is this one is the syslog for system now we have this room they said okay we log in so, no 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 which uh, uh, this room we can go to the okay <coughs> we can check the the file open vpn server server server.conf this room is busy but I think they, they already gave us all the flags inside the, the system it, you can see authentication SHA-560 there uh, use strong cipher so uh, the cipher where is it? cipher is an IS 256 CBC uh, and then what else uh, key VPN gateway software up to date you can use update upgrade open VPN to update with VPN please note the attached VM does not have an internet connection so we can't use this strong authentication so SHA1 SHA so authentication is this one just SHA56 is strong one 
of course you can't use MD5 is an old one so it's, uh, that's is a uh, change the default change the default username and password to something you need to reduce the risk of course this is well known don't leave the router uh, perfect for what secrecy PFS unique session key for each session to strengthen security VPN connection of course this of course use TLS generate okay so that's the file the same as this file so if you go now update the config file to use it's only to use IS120 CBS uh, so it's already using 18 CBS it's already the flag yes so it's not like uh, and then SHA-56 SHA-56 is there already so I'm not really confused when they ask us to update but in the, to use authentication 5 it's using authentication 566 as per the config file what is the port number of the OpenVPN server port uh, the port is 1194 so we got the, uh, sorry we already have this file and then the next one is we go into the inside the router itself so password is try sorry try hack me don't save so this is the router for example login must be enabled to log all event and default alert level debug so I need to stay so if we go system it's a bit slow this router for whatever reason here I think it's uh, the VM uh, change default credential usually the admin web interface is protected through using a password update the password the router to try hack me one two three so this this first of all check the login system so system system select desire option uh, it's a debug as I said now so it's a debug credential system administration system administration they ask us to change the password to try hack me one two three so uh, let me not uh, not uh, we uh, type it wrong so I just do that do that they said it's medium because there is no characters okay we already changed the password SSH configured uh, SSH where is SSH it should be here administration and then we have SSH access Uh, SSH access come on my router uh, what what do you have we change the password now we have the SSH you can see the port is 22 so this is straightforward go to the general sitting option under the system general sitting tab and touch vm the administration has left a special message note let's see what note i think you talk about uh, this one so system and the system let's try it's like you think this route is somewhere there. general sitting this is the note so we got this I think they just want us to play with the router what is the default system log buffer size value of the open router in the log login uh, buffer size is 64 so we have 64 buffer size then what is the start priority of the script uh, where we find the startup script backup flash startup so it should be here what is the start property of script UHTT UH let's see local startup there is no local startup uh, U why are you Mr. U 
you actually that's 50 this is the the number 50 uh, start out priority so it's 50 so we have it here so it's 50 then we have now the next one is how to route the switches and firewall more technique recommended how to manage traffic rules yeah, this is the part of the route the port forward and things like that and allow disallow traffic so you go firewall network so let's go to the firewall Um, okay, they said create new rule, but then said what what the rule will be. Uh, firewall zone uh, traffic rules. Monitor traffic as the network real time graph traffic. Okay. We can. What is the name of the rule that uh, accept ICMP traffic from source zone when and destination uh, zone of this device? Now, if the hint check the route of fire traffic rules. So we are in traffic rules. Now we're looking for an ICMP traffic from the when to this device. This is not. This an AG. Uh, Allow what? Uh, accept so incoming SCMP protocol from when to this device. So it should be this uh, ICMP. This is IPv6, but this is from when to this device. Uh, so it must be this one because this is the one allow pink because if it allow from the when and distinction to these devices so is this one from when to this this so it's allow it's allow ping so the rule is allow ping then what is the name of the rule that forward so if we talk about forward so we go back to port forwarding so data coming from when port nine double one to nine double two. Let's wait now. <coughs> Sorry. So let's wait for the our friend router. Uh, you can see it's here already. For so it's to this incoming from one to port nine one from one to port nine one one forward it to nine nine two so this is the uh, the the port so it's try hack me uh, sorry port and then what is the version number of the installed epic package if you go to package we need to go to software where we find softwares uh, this is the softwares i think is this uh, no schedule task we're not there yet this is software uh, he said installed you know there's a, a bit uh, I think is miscommunication this question if you search it is here but it's not installed because if you search installed you don't find it APK so it's it's available but it's not installed so we can take the version is 2.12 dot two dash one so I think this question is is not correct maybe you said uh, available not installed and here I think is the end of the room part two network of course this niche use is when no one solar solar wind network perform monitor uh, PRTG I mean one it's monitor two I don't know this one and uh, this one I didn't know is open source our network monitor two is capable of detecting Bedouin bottleneck. Yeah, you can see here it's, it's talking about it. Yes, they need. That's why we use them. In fact, otherwise, what's the point of using them? Okay, this is the room. It's a quick room. 
you can take your time to read about it and hope you enjoy it and thank you very much please support the channel guys and thank you very much and have a great day thank you